Hey friends. Hey texture junkies. So this is a part three of my BB craft mask video. Um, we played tonight and if you were watching, thank you for being with us in the live. Um, I was on a roll so we decided that I was going to continue and run this as a premiere uh, later in the week. So I'm going to work on this while I still have steam for a little while and then probably come back to it tomorrow or Monday morning and finish it off. Okay, so I'm, a I'm actually going to stand so I can see what's going on here. And I do have a new camera arm, so I hope that you all can see what I'm doing and you know this is kind of a big thing so I I do know that so these are all just kind of laying here and if you missed what we had done this is where we're at so this is I've chosen my elements this is the topper this is where we're at with and I've decided to keep it like a book page I might even looks like eyeballs. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. I just plugged in my hot glue gun because we're getting serious here. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think I am. I think though, I'm not going to use hot glue on this because I won't have time to adjust and I don't want her cross-eyed. So let me use this kind of glue and hope it holds. Or wait, we're going to use fabric glue. So what I want to do from underneath, this is a new one and the hole isn't very big. Come on, you know you want to. I don't remember having to trim any of the others. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this here and hope to get it right. Look at that. It looks like an eyeball. Okay, now, and then I'll go back in and get the flappy bits. Flappy bits. Why is it being difficult? don't understand. It's like the hole is smaller on this one. That's kind of a pain. Okay, let's line that up. Oh, look at that. Looks like eyes. Oh my goodness. Huh. All right, so we're gonna hold that down for a second. You know, and I'm going to try my other glue because I might be able to squeeze quite a bit in there. Looks like R2-D2 from this side. Come on, just hold. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay. Now we're going for the hot glue. So I've decided that these flowers are going to go in between. Now these are still long. I will trim those off in a minute. Let me blow my nose. Sorry guys. So I would like to say, since this is a BB craft video technically, even though it's a bonus video for them, um, I will leave the information below if you have uh, more than a hundred subscribers and you would like to make videos for BB craft as well, um, and join their affiliate program, uh, there will be the information below. All right. So I do have some little goodies here, like jewelry bits and stuff. 
I don't think I need my rice bag anymore. <clears throat> and this is probably going to go right here. But I might have to add more turquoise to that. Because I feel like it just really stands out weird. And I might have to trim these right now. If I'm going to go for it. Something else is going on these corners, so. So she's going to be like a wall hanger. She will go on my mantle with my other sort of art room angels and, you know, she's kind of got that same, same vibe going on. These are antique curtain things, and they are going to go right here. And I think, where are those medallions? Oh, I used those ones. These are from BB Craft. The masks are from BB Craft. These are gorgeous. I think I got... I don't know, five yards of this or something. I was thinking it might go right there, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, so I got these little hearts that Violet made me. And maybe those will sit there. And these I'm going to tie underneath. I just want to cut this. These will be really cool hanging, I think. It's funny, um, this project is taller than, I mean, like the flat things that I usually do at my desk. So it's funny that I need to stand so I can see. So all I'm doing is, you know, I just trimmed it out, I'm tying it in a bow, and then I may adjust it or change it or I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Just like that. And then these, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and attach these here, just right there. Maybe... I will put those underneath right there. I'm just going to trim them. Those are not necessary, are they? I wonder if that's my wall hanger. Yeah, I can make another one. I might put this on a picture frame. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so now I want to take a glob of hot glue. And I'm going to put it right here. It'll get covered, so. It's, you know it's serious when you're taking out the hot glue gun. Come on. I can't do it. I did a knot. I was just trying not to burn myself there. Okay, let's give it another piece of glue here. And now I know to tie the other one. rust powder and sprays and ink and all kinds of stuff on me, but I wasn't going to stop and wash. 
<laughs> and lose my mojo. <laughs> right? Don't want to do that. No mojo lost here. Okay, I gotta hold that for a minute. so much stuff on the cart next to me because I wasn't sure exactly where I was going. I mean, I knew where I was going with this, but I wanted to pull in really significant pieces. It really does look like R2. Probably could make R2 with this, with these pieces. So those hang down there. Now, Probably want to put those there. Those are from Violet. Aren't they sweet? They really are. They're sweet, sweet, sweet. Right up here. Like that. A little cup shape. thing I hate about hot glue, and I, I rarely take it out anymore, um, it's all the little strings that drive me crazy. Alright, now I have to decide, do I want to put some tabs on the back of this so that these connect? Um, and I might, might just, um might have to. And if I do that, it would be, and, and it doesn't have to, there can be a gap because then I can put my flowers down, the, like the stems down underneath. So I, I just really need a couple, like, I don't know. I don't know how many. Let me grab some cardboard. I wish my nose wasn't running. Alright guys. Alright, so I have some scrap cardboard right here in my trash can I just pulled out. So I'm just gonna cut off some tabs. And let's see if that'll do. So I wanna bend them. And I'm thinking if I do this and I connect it here, bend it all the way back. And like I said, they're not going to show. If I bend it all the way back and then I put glue on the other side, it should grab, right? Ideally. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my tabs just really quickly. with plenty of glue and then when I glue the other side what I'll do is use a different glue so I have time to adjust it so folding it completely in half I'm hoping this works it better work I mean I'll cover whatever let's make that one skinnier because I feel like there's a lot of curve there They'll get covered either way. This is like the commitment moment, like when you when you start gluing the pieces together, you've made your commitment at that point. This is the scary part, I think. making the commitments. Ah, that's hot. I get it on me. It's the other thing about hot glue that we remember to forget. This piece is a little bit... It's just making brackets, you know.
They don't have to be pretty. Oh, that one just flew across the room. There it is. <laughs> they don't have to be pretty. I just need it to attach. I wasn't initially going to give her eyes until I saw how well those those pieces looked like eyes in there. It's pretty cool. So I don't really want it to lay flush. I want a place to tuck my to tuck my stems. So all right, let's see if see if that's going to do. So absolutely, look at that. And then I can technically stick my hand in here and press it down. So let's let's use paper glue for this one. We're gonna use this one. Let me tell you about this glue. This is um, cheaper than uh, art glitter glue, but works the same. It's the Obseed O B S E D E craft glue. And it, you have another few seconds with it uh, than you would with art glitter glue. Um, it's a tiny bit looser, um, but it glues. I mean, it's permanent. It's it's like art glitter glue. I just feel like you have another moment with it, but not much. I mean, my little um, tip glues shut pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to lay this down where I want it. Just like that. And then try to stick my hand in there. And hold some of those down. Let's see if I can reach all the way across. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> I can do it! All right. As long as it's making contact, we're good. Ah! I didn't do it! I hope. It's hard to get my hand in there. Alright, let's do it again. I could always put a bead of hot glue around it, I guess. Um, I'm going to have to as I start putting the flowers and stuff on. I have some really significant things that are going to go on here. Um, a bird from Lisa Mangus. Um, got, you know, the hearts from Violet. Um, I've got an antique button that's really chunky and, and the right size for this. Um, I've, I've got some... I've got a brass butterfly from the 70s that's pretty cool. Um, you know, just some stuff like that. I need to tuck a heart in somewhere. That would be smart. I mean, already, wow. Just, yes. Just, yes. Okay, so I want to start adding flowers to give me a place to tuck my other bits in. But I have to decide, do I want to add some of these first? Um, I mean, I went to all that trouble to paint, but I do kind of want to add more of these. So kind of thinking, yes, right here. It gives me a base to add, you know, I'm just gonna go like, this. We're doing it. Hot gluing it. Doing it with hot glue. Make sure that's in the middle. I think these are iron-on patches too, but I've not used them like that. I, uh, darn it. It's not really going to matter. I mean, it's not going to show. 
There's going to be a lot of things up there. Yeah, that didn't stick at all. Oh, darn it. How about... It's because it's not dry. Yep. I could do it with hot glue. Just do like one of them. Or, yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna have to reach in there real quick. And burn myself. straight. It's my spirit goddess would not have a straight crown. So it's cool. <laughs> Seriously, she wouldn't. <laughs> so this is going to go right here. But that means I need to find some more turquoise to add to her. And it's time to start adding flowers. I hope that's low enough. It's not. Well, it's a good thing that glue didn't hold, huh? I don't, I realize that I'm going to cover up a lot of that. Um, you know, that was always known. It's more of a background. And that's okay. So I'm wondering if I want to take these apart. Let's try it. Probably. I also have daisies. I have green flowers. All right, I guess I'm going to do it. Start on that side. Kind of bringing the flowers down this way. If you can make a wreath, you can do this. No, 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 no. Why does it look like that? Sorry, my face is in the camera, so I hope I'm not too loud. I guess this is our opportunity to glue down that mask. So now I want to add some daisies. I love daisies. Not a small one. Right there. And as I add the glue to each layer here, it'll glue my mask down. It's hot. Really, I just invited you here to watch me burn myself. It's cool.
Oh, you know, just melting my stems. It's cool. Looks like a good place for a daisy. It's hard not to pick all the strings off as you go, but it really does not behoove you to do it as you go. <laughs> Just wait. Yeah, there's going to be lots more. Oh, it already is gorgeous. I love her. Let me see if I can get it all in camera for you. All in the shot. Got a new camera arm. Is that better? I oh, hope that's better. Okay, I also have these pieces. I was wondering if I wanted to add, because I'm all about circles, but maybe not. Now let's see before I add any more flowers, if I need to add more flowers. I have lots of other things. So I have that, but I want to see if I need to change the color first. Or if I have other things in that color to add. So let me get my stuff out here. I have lots of things next to me here. First of all, I have this heart. So if I add this heart, then I've got that turquoise. And I like hearts on things. That's it's really... I'm a heart person. I always have been. I collect the Queen of Hearts. This is that beautiful bird that Lisa sent me. And I kind of don't think I want to glue her down. I, oh my gosh, I'm wondering. Oh, she's gotta go special. I'm kind of thinking I wanna pin her down somehow. So she's gonna have to go on, boy, that's pretty. She needs to be flying up. Kind of want to pin her. Let me sit down for a minute and look through my stuff here. I got lots of it. Yeah, I brought all these things over, not knowing what I would want to use. Exactly. I have a tree. But I couldn't find the one I wanted. I don't know. I have these pieces. And then some turquoise. You know, this I earned when I had 19 recruits with Mary Kay. Maybe I can get the bird on something like that. I mean, I've got this in my jewel box here for a reason, you know, because it's significant to me. Just, it's one of those things. Um, I'm kind of looking for more turquoise. No, maybe none of that. Oh, I forgot. 
forgot I have this little butterfly. Um, but that's not turquoise, once again. This I've had forever and ever, and it's starting to get a turquoise patina on the um, tongs. And I'm kind of thinking that would be cool. Oh, I did find a little tree. Um, let's see. Options. Options. I have a cool feather that I painted here. If I decide to add some black. goodies. You know, and that might be enough for the turquoise. The feather. Do we want to add black? Do we want to add jewels? Can I add the pin to that? Nope, it's too big. hides all of it. So maybe not that one, but definitely that one. The tree. Not this project, but maybe the green man that I started today. We have the black in the eyes. I already have pokey things to go on there. And I, so I don't think I want to use these medallions. But it was a thought. I would have to change the color and I don't want to do that. All right, so that might be enough. Some more flowers. I do need something to put the bird on still. There's the heart. Let's check out our pokey things, huh? There's keys. There's a big key. I've got bigger keys downstairs. These ones might be a little small. All right. No more fussing around, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. Need your help. Let's figure it out. Okay, I have these things because I put these on here that Violet made me. She also made me these. So maybe I just pin the bird to one of these. And then glue that down. But not that color. Can you see these little dresses? They're so cute. Look at that. <laughs> oh, well, maybe one of these. Maybe that's what those are for. How cool would that be? There's a smaller one here. It's like a pear. There's a frame. doesn't show enough. Okay, well I guess I'm going to use that one. That's okay. That's good. And that puts things in threes. She'll be proud. Alright, so let's pin that to it. I feel like I need one more turquoise thing though. Because I can't have two. I can have three. I know it doesn't match, but it's a patina, so...
Okay, so can I just glue this down? Or is it too loose? Might be too loose. Might hang heavy. I could put a ribbon through there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this now because it keeps falling. So it goes right there. All right, well, maybe what I need to do is hmm. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking that's the wrong color. I could add a little more of that color here to have that standing out. I want the bird there. See, we're gluing the mask at the same time. So I opted to do the green flower instead of greenery. If you noticed, I'm doing this. Um, I just thought it was cool. I don't want to cover... It's so hard to make a decision to cover up this beautiful... Beautiful, you know. I still think it needs like jewels or pearls or something in the little crevices. Pearls would be nice. It needs a bit more green right here. It's like uh, when you do a collage and you don't want to cover the, the beautiful layers. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it right now. Feeling like that. I do need another one of those. It's too bad. It's too bad it's not an eye patch. All right, it's gotta go here. Nope, still feeling it there. 
right, putting it down. The bird is going there. But I need to get, let's see. This is how I work, just talking to myself, you know. It's cool. It's a good thing I put enough on there. Um, pooey. I have to figure this part out. I just don't want to glue it down. It's such a beautiful bird. Okay, we know this goes over here. Do I want it to stand up off of it? Let's get those pointy pieces up there first. Where are those at? <clears throat> kind of want to spray paint these. What these are, and there's glitter on them that I didn't expect, but what they are is... icicles and wouldn't they look good in gold look at that can you see it I hope you can see it so what I would do when it's light out because it's dark right now is spray paint them and attach them to the back and then decide Maybe take this and a skinny little something here, wrap it around, do a bit of that, like it's in flight. Get up off there. And let that let that quail sit. I don't want it even, so that's why you see me fiddling with it so much. It feels really heavy on that side, but. I think it goes right there. What do you think? It certainly does. So, how do I get it in there? This is really old, this one, but it's just a wire, so I'm not worried about having it not come off there. Okay, I'm just gonna get a spot of glue right here. I'm back and she's done. Okay, I know that she's kind of big and we gotta get her all in frame. So what I'm gonna do is hold her up and kind of go over her real quick. Um, I love her so much. I really do. It's a good representation of things that I love and that are significant to me. Um, it was actually easy once I, once I got started uh, adding the things. Um, she just came to life. And I wanted to share um, some of the things uh, before I put her back on. I, I'll hold her up in just a minute. Before I put her back on, I want to show you the back. What I... There's a lot of ugly on the back, and there usually is with a project like this. If you cover it and make it look nice on the back, I usually use like a, an upholstery fabric that I wouldn't normally use. Um, this is pink, so, you know, and it won't show. But I want to show you how I got all these pieces attached. So, first of all, let's do a... Her spikes are glorious. 
even my husband was like, wow. And he's my litmus test, really. So can you see all that? And maybe if I turn her this way. So this is the back before I put the cover on. And what I'll end up doing, and by the way, I used really good glue on this because I don't want those to come off. But what I'll end up doing is doing a, uh, something over these so that it, they're on there for life, you know, um, like that. And then I put a strap right here just, you know, not to show um, so that I could add a bottom piece because there's no reason for me to fill the whole thing in. I mean, it's, you know. Um, and I used a PM Artist Studio stencil scrap right here um, where I had taken one of their, um, when, when you get the stencils in the mail, they come with a piece of cardboard to stabilize the package. And that's when I make up some um, texture pieces right away. And I usually use that piece. So let me share that with you. And that's alcohol ink. It's a piece of a, of a necklace. And I used some rivets right here. I did trim out her edges. Um, I'm still picking off glue, you know. I've got these hanging here. And I've got little gifts from friends. Like Violet sent me the little hearts. I hope you can see that. I almost want to stand that up so I know. Um, there are, let me take this away. So I've got the BB Craft, um, these things right here. And some of them were pink, which I won't play with the pink ones. Um, and it's an earring kit, but I will use them for dangles and things like that. And I have made a couple pairs of earrings. But... What I did was I spray painted those when I did the um, spikes, when I did those, and I added a layer of them in here, so it's like, there's like three layers of this crown. Um, they're added all around, and those are the only things on here that are even. Everything else I did unevenly, on purpose, because, you know, my guardian angel, spirit goddess, would have a wonky crown, and, you know... So I felt like I needed more of this, so I kind of went over with just my finger and a little bit of paint because I wasn't getting the color I wanted and I had it in a paint color. And then when I added this jewelry piece, it matched. Her eyes are these BB Craft medallions and I realized it looked like an eye. So I kind of waited out and decided she looked kind of creepier without eyes, and she looks so cool with those. I love them. Can you see them? I hope so. This is a big project, so I know it's hard to get it all in camera view. I'm going to put it back down, give you, give you the angle here. So I almost used this here, but then I decided against it because it made it look more like a mask that you would hold up. And I really didn't want that. I wanted her to have more of a collar than a mask. But, you know, I did paint this. That is also a BB Craft item. I wanted to share with you. I might add a few little things. Like, I might add... I've got these little, these little hands. These charms. And I might decide to add a few little charms down in here. But I'm not sure yet. I just feel like she's done. And... You know, you get that feeling when you know it's done and you just, you're done. You quit. Um, this, sorry about my dog. This is another option. These are clip earrings and they're old and I've been hoarding them. They're beautiful. I, that is a possibility right there because they really match these medallions. But I'm, I'm, if I'm not sure about it, I'm not doing it, you know. Okay, so you could make this mask very quickly. If you go to the Dollar Tree right now, they have these. And these are metal. These, um, they come in silver, white, and gold. And the white ones would be cool. You could do like a snow queen. Um, but how cool are those to put and make a crown? I mean, I just, I found them last night when we went. And I love them. A snow queen would be really cool in white actually. Um, right now they also have things like this or you know they probably have these all the time and these are the kind of things that you could add into her crown. 
um, if you need ideas. And I don't know if you know or saw the picture, but what I did was I took a broken styrofoam wreath. I just poked these in here like that, just poked them in, took it outside, gave it a spray paint. A um, couple colors. I used some copper and some gold, so it's like multicolored, you know, and they're like rays of light. Well, that's what they're intended to be. So you could use jewelry that you're hoarding. Like, that's a piece that I really love and almost made it on there. Uh, you could use chandelier crystals. I mean, there's just endless possibilities, including how cool... I thought about doing that, and then I could put something right there. And I've done this before with some of my art room angels. I mean, it's just a piece of old copper. Copper fitting, or, you know, like, hardware. So, I do want to say, there was an experiment that went wrong on Saturday night, but it didn't go wrong at all. Oh my goodness. You're not going to believe what that did. So I'm going to have to do a little video to share with you the cracks and separation that happened when we mixed those two things together and they made a reaction. Look at, can you see it? Do you see? That's even better than crackle paste. Boy. So we're going to have to play with that a little bit more. Uh, well, thank you for joining me. I hope that... Uh, you check out the photos because there'll be a better view because she's so large. Oh, let's take that off. And this is going to be a premiere, so I'll be here watching this with you. And I appreciate each and every one of you for following along with this project. And um, I hope that you make your own spirit goddess mask as easy or as involved and fiddly as you want. I mean, you don't have to go this far. Um, and actually, once I added the flowers, it wasn't far at all. Uh, and you guys have a magical day, and I will be in chat with you and talk to you soon. Thank you, guys. Bye.